Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks and this is the death run or permadeath run of Hamza, Hamza chosen of Devala, who is trying to actually make his way up in the ranks of uh, the companions. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing that journey as we are or else in Kjolborn Barrow. It is time to liberate uh, the mine for a third time. The miners unfortunately died yet again. He will ask us for some more money afterwards. So it is what it is. I'm going to fortify a bit our stamina and then we're off. Damn it. He got us very well. The beginning is always the most painful part. But I promise this time I will use funeral rites a little bit more. I haven't used that the last time. And regretted it. By the way, I found out why we couldn't open the chests in uh, the lock um, in the lockers. It was simply because I stupidly was hitting uh, the cupboard instead of the chest itself so with kind of a bounce you're typically better off good time to get rid of uh, these guys and with our newfound structure here, that should also do a lot for our magical regeneration. Well, he hired guards this time, but apparently that was not enough. We will find out why that is the case, because in reality, he's working for an evil entity. which is actually using all of the souls to come back. Right, am I missing something? Shouldn't this here be dug in much further? Hold on a second. I think this should have been dug in much further. I know that... By now, we should be able to go down there. Something is awkwardly wrong. Oh, I know what it is. My stupidity. The game expects us to do the normal pathing and go through through here I misread it the next iteration then you can go through the entire dungeon yeah my bad we 
still had quite a few traps here, so I want to be careful. There we go. That's one trap right there. I definitely remember that you get ambushed here. There we go, a couple of droggers. <laughs> Good, but nothing that we cannot deal with. Um, can't believe that I've forgotten about the funeral rites for almost two uh, episodes straight. And I was complaining about having too little magicka. I mean, yeah, we need to take whatever we can get. All right, this guy is a problem. But if a mage walks up to us in melee combat, that is not a very intelligent way of dealing with it. Good, he's down. We're full mana again. Nice. What a fantastic hit. I love the build. Now that it finally works, and that we got all of the pieces together, I adore the build. Distinctly remember this one careful here, Saiken. We want to load up and fortify ourselves. Uh, we need some casting. I um, think no, no particular um, element was used. Yeah, I don't think so. But the ground is made out of traps, so we gotta be careful there. My memory serves me well the moment that you go The moment that you uh, go there, you're actually triggering an event. I might be mistaking this for another Draugr rune. I've done so many lately. But 
if we can use that. Okay, cool. There is still a helmet here. I'm not mistaken, and I'm not talking about that orcish helmet. That's an interesting one as well. Actually talking about a proper helmet. Yep, right there. We just gotta open it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What was the combination? My bad. I shamefully must admit I needed to look up the combination. So... What we are doing here is hitting all of the plates and that opened the door. There's the Ring of Arcana. Let's see what that does in detail. Destruction spells, cheaper to cast, magicka increased. Less damage and restores one magicka per round on top of that. A little bit lower magicka increase compared to the necromancy version yeah i think we're still keeping the necromancy which has base magicka regenerates 75 percent uh, faster we can't use either um either of uh, these really but boy i am pretty sure that there was a full set of armor in here Might be completely wrong, but uh, mm, there was indeed a full set of armor, not just the rings in here. I'll figure it out after the fourth time that we've been here, because then we have the whole dungeon at our disposal and can search it. And if needed, I'll just read up on the solution. Pretty sure, to be entirely honest, that there was more. And just the base kit. Next time I think we can go through here if I'm uh, remembering correctly. Okay, back to the entrance. And this time our good friend wants a ludicrous amount of money, 5,000 gold pieces to dig in deeper. But the rings themselves are already worth a fortune. So might as well uh, pay for it. Each of the items that we have looted is worth more than 5,000 gold pieces easily. I think we've developed quite the reputation. But for another five, I know you can and call. Have you got the money? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Five thousand gone. Spring for some more experienced muscle. That's a dude. All right, we're on our way back to um, Skyrim, and we're going to hunt a couple of witches next. Off we go. Good, we are here at a sinister, dark location where three hex are waiting for us. Glenmore Coven. There's nothing worse than a 
bunch of hags bounding together, practicing the dark arts. And in terms of magic, how do we feel about... Yep, resist magic is on. I got another resist magic potion, which we might want to use. Poison definitely, or spiders. Yeah, let's go with the resist magic. Not taking any chances here. And of course, well, a couple of spiders. Gotta hate them. Okay, we definitely need more stamina. Still hit like a truck. And I need the other food. As much as I like the mana regeneration, it's just not working out. One other aspect whilst we're at it, um, let's put an enhanced constitution on ourselves. That will help us uh, to resist more of the poison. But Expedious now. Can always loot later. Okay, one more. And I think I need hot tivas. Good. One more. They make for very decent XP. Is they give greater inside potions. However, let's not be fooled by them. It's easy to have one wrong step and then potentially get blown out of the water. Damn it. Wrong direction. I fooled myself by just looking at the radar.
Good, fantastic. So we got all of uh, them. Which means we can take the master chest. Yes, please. Ooh, that's good. We can get the enchantment off of it. That is very good. Okay, not sure where the game was trying to crash. Seems to be still an indicator in that direction, which I do not understand. Did we forget to loot her? No. We got everything here. Apparently the game thinks there is another Glenmore witch. Uh, Glenmore witch. I don't forget any of them. Seriously. Pretty sure we killed them all. Maybe there is a way up there. I can, I can still see that that uh, there is a tunnel. So I must be missing something here. And you as the viewer will potentially just go ballistic at the screen. Icon, why wouldn't you move in that direction? It's totally obvious. Yep, I am thinking that as well. That's the third one. And the fourth one seems to be up here. Oh, there we go. Finally. Well, that spider was hurled away a good chunk. Okay, so apparently we can't get the body there, but we get the last head. And I think with that one, we're Finally there. Great. Circlet of Major Illusions. That's a good find for us because we might need that enchantment later. Got a skill book on top of it and we finish the quest. Could have done a bit better with uh, maneuvering the cave, but other than that, I'm quite happy that we killed all of uh, the Hex without much of a problem. Instead of three, we were actually looking at a coven of five Hex. Time to hand that in and progress to the last part of the quest. See here. There's a new museum opening up in Don. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I thought we would get our letter right away.
But instead of getting the last uh, letter uh, for our excavation quest, <clears throat> we unfortunately just uh, got uh, the starter for uh, the museum and Dawn uh, Guard, which is a Daedric uh, item quest. Not nothing that we would want to do now. Oh, wait a second. These two are the problem. We finally had the nerve to attack your bat. We got it. Well, the silver hand struck back. And now it's time for bloody revenge. Where have you been? I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack Yarvaskar. We fought them off. But the old man, Godlag, is dead. No. But they made off with all our fragments of Wulthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of Yorvaskar will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. Good. Fantastic. Well... I can see you guys had a good time. Sorry, old man. So, in terms of next steps, we want to go to Driftshade Refuge, because that's where the Silver Hand is located. Off we go, Vilkas. Don't stand there in anticipation. Good, time to get our hands dirty and by the way i should maybe recharge the weapon yeah figured as much you can't win this. good we got your poison that is quite helpful I like funeral rites, gives us more to do. So, Driftshade Refuge is the place to be for now. We got everything going. So, up and away. Let's uh, kill their leader. Vilkas will potentially completely solo this dungeon however we caught up uh, with him he used to be like way way stronger than we are and now it's just well he's still quite strong potentially stronger than we are but it is just a little bit stronger Instead of us being the imposter and he essentially running the show by himself. Good. These were the biggest problem originally because they just had so much armor. We're not taking any damage. Nowadays, it's not a problem. We can penetrate the armor much better. Vilkas also has issues because he's using slashing weapons. And actually, they don't deal a lot of damage. Uh, the steel uh, armor has, I think, a full suit has 24% slashing resistance on top of uh, the armor protection. Build ground soldier and that is helpful and valuable. Oh. 
Good, that's the exit. Which means there must be a different way. There we go. I, of course, missed that door. Wow, down to only 150. Well, at least we're dealing decent damage when they're not blocking. Yeah, those are... I, I see a definite uptick between... Let's say those low-level brigades here and the actual Silverhand Warriors. Okay, Vilkas. Time to get in a bit deeper. He wouldn't come out unless we were opening the door. Lol. Okay. Couldn't let, uh, couldn't let him be there because uh, he could have always joined us from behind. sworn there was a skill book in here must be wrong all right let's go on because get up But this guy here was a bit stronger as well. But not after we separated the head from his shoulders. Okay, cool. I'll loot the rest once we're getting out. Alright, heard a trap somewhere um, back there. I'm not sure if together with Vilkas our tactic actually is going to work. So this is the trap. I'm gonna run over it. Vilkas. Same goes for you. Other ground soul gem. Okay. Well, can't really do our trick when Vilkas is around. Could have definitely beaten them in a normal hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I like the, the idea of uh, sending them into a nightmare realm and they never really awake.
Let's get our disarm shout up. Of course, he resisted. God damn it. They can take a beating. Couple of things really. Getting blur back up. And getting some more mana. Shadow Shield has just uh, left us, so we need to get that back up as well. Can't take the Werewolf Pelt. We'll take it later, but it's fine. From a role-playing perspective, I think we wouldn't want to sell skin and sell a Werewolf anyways. Okay, my disarm shout is the last time did absolutely nothing okay I'm still trying with the mana regeneration uh, cheese instead of stamina regeneration food but it is Incredibly noticeable. Continuing to try, but it really doesn't work out that well. We're in that weird spot where I guess we just rely on the food in order to be efficient. We've skilled so much into Magicka that the regeneration itself is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. But just look at the stamina regeneration. It's awful. Might as well chuck some potions here. We don't really need them. Good. One of the things that uh, we definitely... Oh, did I just drop my axe? That is so stupid. Wrong button. Alright, keep him in stun lock. I'll fight them outside. Thanks, Vilkas. Yeah, the stamina is too much of a problem. I, by the way, I would have had uh, surpassing healing and also suppressing stamina. But I came to the conclusion it needs to be uh, potato soup. I don't need another... Uh, demonstration 
it's unfortunate but without uh, enough base stamina regeneration we can't just continue doing power attacks I need more perks to pull this one off Okay, wasted a lot of uh, magicka there. Good weapon groups are working again. Really don't need any of that. Thank you. Oh, I see. So the guy was uh, the boss. That's why he took so many hits. Two remarkable healing potions. That's great. Exactly what we need. Skill book here. And like a badass, we're sitting at the table. Whilst taking the fragments of Wutran. Cool. Overall successful. Albeit a bit scrappy. Specifically that last one. Moving out, hand in the quest, and off we go. Yeah, I think we're going to see the ceremon uh, ceremonial uh, mm, funeral of our former leader. Really worst potential timing. We take our Let's see. I've got another letter from Rallis. This is the last. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Solidly interrupted that great moment. His spirit is departed. Members of the circle. Let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Careful with those. Don't want even more fragments, do we? Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kadlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Thank you. I'll be here. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's get his last uh, piece real quick. Much for talking. You're back. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Very good. Time to mourn the loss of our great leader. The old man had one wish before he died, and he didn't get it. 
It's as simple as that. Being Moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. That's fine for you, but he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Isramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlak did not care for vengeance. No, Karthus, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlak, no matter our own thoughts of the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlak used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without you, Thrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield runner here. The flames of Kiro can be forged to shatter. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the ones who carry Uthrad into battle. I think so as well. you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Iskramor, for Kodlak. Hell yeah! We got Wuthran. 300 points of damage inflicts deadly wounds to elves as well as creatures living underground such as uh, such as uh, the former elves. Look at that, such a beautiful weapon. If we put more into smithing we might as well uh, more cutlack. We might as well smith it. So, I think there is only a few more uh, pieces uh, that need to be done. For starters, I would like to get the second part of the shout now that we do have Wuthran. Um, and that would mean for now we're increasing skills. And in the next episode, we will have a fight against the dragon, the first one uh, that uh, we had so far. And then afterwards, if we're still alive, we're going to finish the companion's quest. So, as for things to do... I actually would like to get uh, blocking up to 50 before we're starting with uh, smithing. There we go. Almost level 21. We finally can get Illusion uh, to 60 as we wanted it originally. And we can start to get Heavy Armor further up. Yep, 10 more points in Heavy Armor. In the meantime, we're leveling up, Magicka, getting to that sweet spot of 300 Magicka. We are now maxed out in a, uh, with the automatic leveling uh, ad advantages, so no more Magicka health and stamina plus Magic resist per level. That uh, is only happening until level 21. In terms of illusions, we are going right to the expert illusion perk. We take the Shadow Simulacrum, which potentially is uh, the um, biggest buff that we could get here. Veil of Silence, not so good. Invisibility and Muffling Sphere, also not so good. Might as well try Blackout, because why not? So that is uh, that. We could improve our healing. Might not be the worst idea because I'm still relying on potions and that drains a lot of uh, our funds. So 
that could actually be a wise investment. The other option here is more stamina and quite a bit of carry weight. Uh, that is that's super convenient. That's that would help us a lot, specifically with so many weapons. Yet another thing uh, would actually be great um, training blocking. and getting blocking plus experience blocking as that would help uh, our build in combat, in actual combat. And since this is a death is, uh, death is dead run I will go for the safety option. So we're... Oh, wait. Stupid as it might sound, I think that healing might actually be better. Plus 25% magnitude for healing spells and that's all of them. I'm not sure if that also means for the weapon itself, but it looks quite good. This is great, and this is okay. It seems that they nerfed uh, the healing aspect. I think it used to be plus 50% a normal Requiem, but I might be wrong. Hmm. Let me give it a hard thought. We need to get into blocking anyways, so this is not wasted. Level 22 will likely be the armor upgrade so that we can actually cast the Shadow Simulacrum because I would be guessing Blackout cast a, evokes an orb that causes a mental blackout on the target, draining Magicka per second and reducing Magicka regeneration. If empowered, spell also negates victims every thought, causing a consciousness uh, for 17 seconds. If we could empower that, that would be fantastic, but it is way too expensive at the moment. 399, we can't afford uh, to cast uh, that. How about trying it without all of the clutter? 397. That's barely enough. So long lasting buff and with it we should be we should be having like that extra helper which will uh, accompany us throughout the dungeon. I'll prepare myself uh, for the first uh, dragon fight. We need a bit more resistances and uh, in the meantime if you are afraid of a uh, dragon hide behind a stone uh, and let the dragon breathe nicely onto the like button that might uh, give uh, the video here enough exposure thanks uh, for doing that and see you in the next episode bye bye guys